It is considered the evil sister of our Earth and is one hell of a hot world. We're talking about Venus. A Japanese probe has now delivered the last real images of Venus, and what have we found? In addition to huge volcanoes, Venus as a whole surprises us with a once geologically very active past and with strange processes in its atmosphere. No other planet is shrouded in such a thick layer of clouds, and no other planet in the solar system is so hot, toxic, and seemingly inhospitable. Nevertheless, life could exist there. A sensational discovery of biomarkers in the planet's atmosphere indicates exactly that. Could it be that the simplest forms of life have survived the stark transformation of Venus into a blazing furnace? In Roman mythology, she is the goddess of beauty and love, but Venus also has another face that can be poisonous and evil. She shows this facet in her planetary embodiment. Our closest neighboring planet is such an inhospitable and poisonous world that we don't want to think about love here at first. But Venus is also beautiful, graceful, and harshly fascinating. In the 1980s, Russian probes sent the first real images of the surface of Venus and the first ever detailed images of the surface of another planet. After a long break, the exploration of Venus has made significant progress again in recent decades. The missions of the Magellan and Akatsuki probes have given us completely new impressions. Magellan and Akatsuki for Venus Ferdinand Magellan sailed around the world in 1519 and 470 years later, in 1989. A probe named in honor of the navigator set off for Venus. The aim this time was also to map a world, but this time Magellan devoted himself to mapping an alien world. Equipped with a high-resolution radar, Magellan was also to map more than 98% of Venus's surface and provided detailed images of gigantic volcanoes, rugged mountain ranges, barren crater landscapes, and complex lava flows. The new data revealed a world of extraordinary geological activity, similar to our Earth in many ways, yet unique. Magellan's observations showed that Venus has a young surface, which can be traced back to volcanic processes and tectonic movements that took place less than a billion years ago. Almost two decades after the end of the Magellan mission, Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency launched another probe towards Venus. Akatsuki means dawn, and this brand new probe was to study the unusual dynamics of Venus's dense atmosphere in detail for the first time. Its atmosphere is so dense that we cannot see anything at all of its surface from Earth with telescopes. The first impressions of the alien world beneath the thick clouds were provided by the extremely successful Russian Venera probes. Akatsuki reached Venus in 2015 and after some turbulence, successfully settled into a stable orbit around the planet. Data collection in the atmosphere revealed the existence of huge, stationary wave structures, possibly caused by geological formations on the surface. The probe also provided the first insight into the super-rotating atmosphere of Venus. In this phenomenon, the atmosphere rotates around the planet much faster than the planet itself rotates. Magellan and Akatsuki have dramatically expanded the picture of Venus with their work. We see new impressions of a fascinating world that has been shaped by volcanic and tectonic activity. On top of this, we experience an extremely dynamic atmosphere with complex weather phenomena and chemical processes. One of Akatsuki's most beautiful discoveries was the huge arc-shaped cloud structures that stretch over thousands of kilometers, indicating once again that the atmosphere is even more active and complex than scientists had previously assumed. Venus appears to be similar to our Earth in many ways due to its vibrancy, and yet it's quite different. The dense CO2-rich atmosphere and the strong greenhouse effect heat the surface to temperatures of around 465 degrees Celsius, and toxic vapors fill the air. Akatsuki's mission was also to find out what circumstances led to this extreme greenhouse effect. In the past, our neighbor might have been a much friendlier place until dynamic processes turned it into a blazing furnace. Active Volcanoes on Venus? Who would have thought that Venus, which is so rough and barren today, was a geologically highly active celestial body not so long ago? The surface of Venus is characterized by a multitude of volcanic structures. Some of these volcanoes could have been active within a time frame of around 1 million years. In cosmological terms, this is a very recent period. 
Planetary researchers attribute the fact that volcanic eruptions may have taken place even in the recent past to the existence of sulfur dioxide in high concentrations in the upper layers of the atmosphere. In addition, the infrared radiation of Venus shows very specific anomalies that point to active volcanism. No other rocky planet in the solar system has such a dense atmosphere as Venus. Carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid are responsible for the extreme heat on the planet due to their reflective properties. This dense atmosphere creates such a strong greenhouse effect that surface temperatures have risen to an average of 465 degrees Celsius. This makes Venus hotter than Mercury, which is much closer to the Sun. Akatsuki has also uncovered traces of nitrogen and small amounts of other gases such as water vapor and argon in the atmosphere. The chemical composition and dynamic processes in Venus's atmosphere are probably also involved in the extremely fast rotation of the cloud layer. The cloud layer moves around the planet much faster than the planet itself rotates. This super-rotating atmosphere completes a full revolution in about four Earth days, while the planetary rotation requires 243 Earth days for a complete revolution. The phenomenon of super-rotation is still a mystery, and the exact atmospheric dynamics of Venus are far from being fully understood. The fact that the atmosphere rotates around 50 times faster than the planet itself must be related to the exchange of energy and the conservation of momentum between the atmosphere and the planetary surface. Researchers suspect that thermal and dynamic processes in the atmosphere, possibly in conjunction with solar radiation and chemical reactions in the clouds, are further driving the unusual phenomenon. Despite the extreme conditions, temperature distribution on Venus is surprisingly uniform. There are no major fluctuations, either geographically or seasonally. The dense atmosphere and the rapid circulation of the cloud layer probably distribute the heat evenly around the planet at all times. This even distribution of temperatures is unique in the solar system and is probably a side effect of the dense atmosphere. Is the Earth at risk of the same greenhouse effect? It's a shock that some scientists think Venus is the Earth of the future. Can you imagine our blue-green planet looking like this one day? The pessimists among the climate researchers paint just such a picture. But there are also other opinions that assume that the conditions on Venus were different from those on our home planet from the very beginning. Nevertheless, Venus, with its dense carbon dioxide atmosphere and extremely high surface temperatures, serves as a dramatic warning and a valuable object of study for the general understanding of the greenhouse effect. Scientists hypothesize that Venus may have once been similar to Earth, possibly with moderate temperatures and liquid water on its surface. The transformation of Venus from a potentially habitable to an extremely inhospitable planet is a stark reminder of the delicate balance that regulates a planet's climate. Scientists hypothesize that a runaway greenhouse effect, in which heat was trapped by the dense atmosphere and temperatures were driven up, led to the loss of the original water resources. Life on Venus. Impossible? You might think that this planet really is too inhospitable to harbor life. So it was all the more of a shock when scientists found traces of organic compounds here, of all places, in this hostile place. The search for life and habitable conditions on a planet whose surface is dominated by extreme temperatures and a dense, toxic atmosphere may seem paradoxical at first glance. However, the discovery of phosphine, a gas that is mainly produced by biological processes on Earth, speaks a different language. The discovery in the clouds of Venus has led to speculation about microbial life forms in the planet's atmosphere, and NASA probes are soon to clarify whether there is any truth in these indications. The possibility of life on Venus represents an unexpected twist in the discussion about extraterrestrial life on other planets and sheds a whole new light on the diversity of possible habitats in the universe. Venus could have conditions in its upper atmospheric layers that support microbial life. The atmosphere provides a protective layer from the intense solar radiation and the temperatures and pressures there are comparatively moderate. The technological challenges we now have to overcome to resolve this are considerable. Our sister planet not only has extreme heat and toxic gases, the pressure within the atmosphere is also considerable. Technical measuring instruments on the ground are destroyed within an hour. The best of the Venera probes lasted 40 minutes to just over an hour before succumbing to the heat and pressure. 
a probe that wants to clarify the phosphine deposits in the atmosphere of Venus would have to operate in orbit and still get close enough to Venus to scan the layers around the planet piece by piece and analyze them in detail. A lander that descends very slowly could provide further valuable data. However, this probe could only study a small part of the atmosphere. However, as Venus has its cloud bands so well and evenly distributed, this could be enough as the traces of phosphine and possibly evidence of microbes should then be found all around the planet. Da Vinci Plus and Veritas on the Trail of Life on Venus After Magellan and Akatsuki, now comes Da Vinci Plus and Veritas. After the phosphine findings, NASA changed some of its plans at lightning speed, canceling a planned Neptune probe and planning two new Venus probes. Both missions aim to further unravel the mysteries of Venus, from its geological history to the causes of its extreme climate, and of course, the newly discovered traces of life. The planned Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry, and Imaging Plus, and the Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, INSAR, Topography, and Spectroscopy missions are ambitious projects that will be launched in 2029. The two missions will investigate the chemical composition of Venus's atmosphere in detail, reconstruct the history of the planet's formation, and examine the possible existence of oceans in the past. Da Vinci Plus will provide high-resolution images of the surface to help us better understand the geological features of Venus. Veritas aims to reconstruct the geological history of Venus by mapping the surface and exploring the dynamics of the planet's crust. Subscribe to the channel now. New video hits are added all the time.